This video will talk about the SR112 radio record simplified repeater controller. The feature of this controller is complete the repeater function with one single radio. Now, let's see how this repeater works. If there a person at left hand side and another one at right hand side, they can't have a conversation without the repeater. And now I mount a repeater in the middle. After the person on the left speaks, the repeater will record it. Then send it to another side. That can achieve the broadcast function. but it is just available for specific position. If you get into a really high end position that will be disconnected, you need to mount a repeater to accomplish a transmit function and have a conversation with the person who is inside the cave. At the same principle, you just need to put a repeater in the middle and accomplish a transmit function. The advantages of this repeater is just use the simplest radio. But no need to concern about the problem of antenna interference or the trouble of mutualing exclusive from two radios. or the matter of settled various radio. Now, I will talk about the installation. You need to buy an extra cable when you buy the repeater. This is the plug for Canwood radio. This is the plug for Yasu radio. Firstly, I will use a license-free radio Motorola FRS to have a test. This is a 17mm 4 Knox plug. Insert into two radio position. After that, the red light will on. Then. The repeater will turn on when the red light is flashing. Let's try could the both radio have a conversation. After the test, let's insert the plug to the repeater with another side. Assume these two people cannot have a conversation at the foothill. And now I will put a repeater on the mountain top. When I transmit the message, repeater will record the information and send it to another side of the mountain. One two 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 Therefore, they can communicate now.